So, it seems that not a lot of people are happy with the casting choice for the Borderlands movie. We have Jamie Lee Curtis, we have Ariana Greenblatt, we have Kevin Hart, we have Florian Montano, we have uh, Lilith, which is Kate uh, Blanchett, we also have Jack Black as Claptrap. Now, very, very big names across the entire board, but there's a big difference between crushing your role individually, which I'm sure they probably did in their own right, but there's also a difference between that and having a role that's right for you. And it seems like a lot of people are not happy with how these big name stars are fitting into the role of Borderlands. It doesn't seem like it translates very well. Characters that are either too old, too short, don't play the characters well, whatever the reason may be, costume design, etc., etc. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through the Borderlands cast and recast them. What I want you guys to do is before I get into that casting, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. Let me know who you would cast as your dream lineup, and uh, we'll see if we have anything correct together. Now, there's going to be some ones that are going to be uh, the same for me. There are going to be ones that are the same for me. Um, I am going to be keeping... Let me go ahead and just pull up the IMDb list so that I could show you guys. I'm going to be keeping the actor for uh, Krieg. Krieg is fine. He just needs a costume change. Uh, Moxie, again, fine. Just needs a costume change a little bit, a little bit slightly more. Uh, Ellie and Scooter are totally fine, too. If they could pull off the voice and if they could pull off the character, looks-wise, they are okay. I'm going to be keeping those guys as the same. Now, if we look into the rest, now we have a little bit of a difference of uh, uh, to change because there are a lot of characters on here that just do not fit. Some characters, for example, like Lilith as Cape Blanchett, uh, or rather the uh, opposite, Cape Blanchett as Lilith. Uh, Ariana Greenblatt, not a fan of Tina. Jack Black and Claptrap, again, not a fan of the voice. Voice actor less so. The sound is a little bit different to me. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis as Tannis. I'm actually going to be keeping Jamie Lee Curtis as Tannis. However, they need to try a little bit more to make her more character-like. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis has white hair in the film. I think if they did a dye or even a wig to get it brown, that would be more acceptable, and I think she could play the character just fine. So I'm keeping Tannis, but with a little bit of a costume change. Uh, Kevin Hart as Roland? No. <laughs> uh, Janina as Knox, etc., etc. Uh, let's go ahead and recast these guys, shall we? So, first up on my list, um, Tina, Tiny Tina as Ariana Greenblatt. Um, I would change Ariana Greenblatt as Tiny Tina to, let me go ahead and pull up the, uh, the person. I would change it to Chloe Grace Moretz. Chloe Grace Moretz ended up doing quite a lot of roles. She's uh, played in Kick-Ass, so I know that she has that sort of like psychotic style and also has played younger characters before. She is in her late 20s now, so the age might not fit, but she is in a 5'4 um, height range, which is uh, pretty appropriate for the character, I would say. Uh, Tina does um, seem a little bit lankier. Um but uh, I think Chloe Grace could probably pull this off, it, especially if it was in the kick-ass days. If it was in the kick-ass days, that would have been, like, the choice by far. But I still think she could do well, even if she is uh, just recently turned 27. So that is my Tiny Tina. Next up on the list, we have Roland. Roland, Kevin Hart. I just... If they ended up doing frame and frame like they did with the movie Elf, it would have been fine. Um, however, Kevin Hart as Roland, I just don't see it. Who I would give that to, and someone actually pointed this out to me last night, and it completely changed my perspective on it. Um, I would actually give it to Anthony Mackie, who uh, plays Falcon in the Marvel films. Now... I know that uh, Falcon is not the most forward um, lead role, but if we gave him a chance and gave him a leading role, I think it would be a little bit better than Kevin Hart. Um, he has the stature of like a soldier stoic body. He 
obviously works out, so it looks like he's going to be in that role of a soldier. I believe he's 5'10", which is actually canon uh, one inch off of Roland himself. Roland, I believe, is 5'11". Anthony Mackie's 5'10", so the height is perfect. Um, yeah, again, body-wise, he's played uh, superhero, soldier-esque characters. I think he could be a pretty good Roland. Before, it was Terry Crews, but I think Terry Crews is a little bit too comic style and a little bit way too jacked for the Roland role. Uh, I would give that to Anthony Mackey. Next up on the list, we have uh, the Claptrap voice. Now, there's a couple things that you can do with Claptrap here. Um, if you want to keep Jack Black, sure. Uh, put some more robotic effects on there and put a little bit more higher pitch in there. Um, the delivery of Claptrap was a little bit off as well. Um, and I think that it just needs a little bit more tuning up in general. If you don't want to do Jack Black for this, I think if you want to put an actor in there, Ryan Reynolds could be pretty decent. He can kind of go higher pitch with Deadpool and also has that comedy style. And Ryan Reynolds does quite a good job on most roles. If you really don't want to do that, I would not argue about putting Jim Ferranda behind the role, which is the voice actor for Claptrap in Borderlands 3 and Tiny Tina Wonderlands, which is the pretty much the new Claptrap that we have now. I would not be in uh, argument for that either. Now, Hammerlock... Hammerlock doesn't look like Hammerlock at all. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Hammerlock is an older gentleman. Um, Hammerlock is the sort of like older, gray, um, getting on in age kind of character, lost his arm, that sort of thing. The person that I would cast in the Hammerlock role is uh, Idris Elba. Um, Idris Elba was a person who played as uh, Heimdall in the Thor movies. Heimdall is a older, wiser character, and I think Hammerlock uh, kind of needs that kind of person behind it. So I think Idris Elba could actually pull the look. Uh, Idris Elba can pull off the character. The tone of voice can pull off pretty well. And he's in the range of age for Hammerlock as well. Because if we look at Hammerlock, Hammerlock is a, again, an older character. And I think they can get pretty close if uh, we put some actual costume design behind it. You can get the uh, the facial hair going on him. You put the hat on him. And actually, Heimdall also has the eye thing in the Thor movies. So that actually isn't too far off uh, previous roles that Idris has done. I think Idris could kill that role. Next up on the list, we are going over the movie again, Butterfly. We're casting our dream cast for the Borderlands movie. Uh, next up, I don't like the role for Nox. I think uh, having it played by Janina um, is just not Nox at all. I, I don't know anything about Janina. You could probably cast her elsewhere. But Nox is a character that a lot of people associate with in Borderlands 1 as being the... Um, he kind of has like a dry sense of humor. He's an older person. Um, and also just has a, I, I guess, nihilistic kind of uh, way of producing comedy. I think this would actually go really well with Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin is a person um, who... Is an older gentleman. He's in his early or uh, mid fifties, I should say. Uh, Josh Brolin is used to playing bad guys in in movies, and also has a really deep, like raspyish kind of voice. He's like really low pitched, and I think he could pull off the nihilistic character, um, and also the uh, one liners that Knox has as well. I think Josh Brolin could do a excellent job on uh, being General Knox. Let's go ahead and pull up General Knox really quick for those who uh, don't remember what Knox looks like. Uh, yeah, so here's General Knox here. If this isn't Josh Brolin to you, I don't know what is. If that's not Josh Brolin to you, I don't know what is. I I'm pretty sure with some costumes, some makeup, and some actual, like... ELC, I think Josh Brolin can pull that off very well. Next up on the list, 
Uh, we have Lilith. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. My movie knowledge is not incredible. Um, so I actually struggled with Lilith a little bit. Um, I was going more for looks rather than actual, like, actress, uh, for this role. I wanted to find someone that was not in their 50s. Um, someone who actually didn't need, like, a wig or anything that was, like, super unnatural for hair. And also someone who has, um, a little bit of a taller neck so that the tattoos could actually fit properly. I ended up looking at someone named Madeline... Madeleine Petch. Uh, they played in... Um, they went about in playing in something called Riverdale. Um, I know that's a semi-popular TV show. And they also did some voice work in um, The Simpsons. I don't know them overly or how they uh, perform, but they fit in the age range of about 30. They are a um, uh, a redhead. They have a little bit of a taller neck, so I think the tattoos could actually fit properly. This is what they look like here. I made completely missed the mark on this one. I'm going to be honest, I struggled with Lilith. The rest I feel fairly confident on, but um, she seems okay. Again, redhead, about 30 years old. Has a little bit of a taller neck to actually pull off the neck jokes in Lilith. Um, can definitely fit the tattoos along the lines of the uh, collarbones, down the arms. I think it could work out okay. I don't actually know how she performs in Riverdale, so let me know about that one. If I had a backup, um, I would probably say... And this one's going to be completely missed, Mark, so if you roast me for this one, that is completely fair. Um, I could see Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts is kind of in the same range as well. Uh, not so much neck-wise, but they're in the range of uh, the uh, early 30s, which is about Lilith. Um, I think that they could pull off the look a little bit better than um, Kate Blanchett. And also, um, they have a little bit like tone uh, of voice um, that's a little bit higher. Um, Kate Blanchett kind of sounds like a chain smoker in the uh, Borderlands movie. And I don't think that's really Lilith. Um, we know Lilith for things like um, get to high ground, the lava is rising, you know, that sort of thing, that like higher upper tone. Uh, Emma Roberts, I think, can pull that off a little bit better. And um, I don't know much about Madeline Por uh, Perch um, that much. But look wise, I think Madeline gets a little bit closer. Uh, let me know what you guys think about your perfect cast. Again, um, my movie knowledge is not crazy, but that's what I would probably do. Um, I want to find one for, um, Jacobs, because I don't really like the Jacobs actor either. I really don't. Um, so I do want to find one for, to replace Shay and Jackson. Let me know about that one. I'm curious, and, uh, I'm curious about the rest of your, uh, roles as well. My name is B. Flatten. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Laters.